Hello everyone. I am Munidin Ansari along with Mr. Sagar Shinde from Clover Fusion Practice Team. Today we are going to demonstrate you one of the latest features of Oracle Fusion 24C update. This feature works with uh, the adaptive intelligence and uses machine learning to create a data model which further helps us in predicting and suggesting distribution combinations while entering a non-PO invoice. This is also a very helpful feature which will ease the task of entering values manually for multiple segments in the distribution combination. And it also minimizes the risk of uh, having any typos or errors uh, by the end user while entering the values. So this feature uses AI and ML to read the historical data, it analyzes it and then predicts the segment values in the distribution combination. So how can we activate this particular feature? Let's find out in today's video. So firstly, as a prerequisite, we have provided some roles to a user. These roles are Application Implementation Consultant, Application Implementation Administrator, Application Implementation Manager, and the most important AI Apps BIP role. And for making this particular function to work, we have to give a user a user category. We should have a password uh, that would last for more number of days, preferably years. We have to go to the security console. Then as you can see, we have already created a user category named as test user category for which the password policy and the expiration is uh, uh, 9999 days. And this is done because the adaptive intelligence system will be logged in from the user which will have this particular user category. And if the password expires soon, so then the system won't be able to read and learn the invoices constantly. And then uh, eventually it won't be able to improve and suggest better results. And as you can see, we have attached this user category to these uh, users. One is test user, another one is Clover Finn. So for this function to work, we have to navigate to tools and under tools, uh, after giving the roles, uh, you will be able to see the AI apps administration. Click on it. You will be able to see now the adaptive intelligence page. Here we have to select the first option AI apps for ERP. And uh, as you can see, it also has various other AI enabled uh, features. These are for human capital management, some are for services, this one's for you fusion user experience. So let's uh, click on this one. Click on connections. And here you have to log into your user. As you can see, I have already logged in uh, from clover.fin user. And then you have to also, also select the P2T refresh date. This means the period to training date. Once you will select these date, the data which is uh, up to that date will be uh, used for the model training purpose of the system. And uh, here you can also see the Oracle Data Science Report. This report will show the accuracy of the system that is suggesting the values under the distribution uh, combination. So um, this report will contain the accuracy for uh, each of the segment. For example, uh, the accuracy for line of business or company segment would be 100% and at the same time for accounting or cost center might be 40 or 50%. So let's check uh, if the function is properly working while entering the distribution combination. So go to payables, click on invoices. Select create invoice. <coughs> Enter your business unit.
Enter the supplier. Give your invoice number. Enter the amount. I've given the description here as maintenance. Enter the same amount in the lines. As you can see now, uh, it already captured uh, the description from the invoice header in the description of invoice line. And uh, when I tab uh, to this particular box, it uh, already has uh, the distribution combination feeded inside it. And this particular uh, yellow bordered box means that the system is actually uh, accurate. Uh, it is uh, actually working and is uh, giving uh, the suggestions uh, for the distribution combination values. And as you can see here, the account uh, is equipment maintenance and repairs. So the system has uh, accurately selected the combination and uh, once I change this as a fright, once again we can see that it uh, is changed and it has taken the fright expenses on purchases. So let's just uh, save this invoice. Let's validate it. Uh, okay, it uh, needs revalidation. Okay, this is because of the tax invoice. Okay, we have to enter uh, this particular amount in the header as uh, this uh, seeded uh, setup had some tax uh, setup also. So we will change the amount in the header. So we won't be having any line variance now. Let's revalidate it. Perfect. And now let's just pay it in full. Okay, so as you can see, the payment is also duly processed. So this is all for the uh, AI intelligent combination default process. Okay, so that's all. See you guys in the next video.